Marshmallow, chocolate, and graham cracker always have a place around the campfire, but we are making noise about a new recipe that is perfect for your upcoming 4th of July gathering. It's an all-American apple pie plus a red and blue flavor too. Gather a few ingredients to make a toasty campfire pie in the backyard. It's another recipe creation by Amy Richardson exclusively for Studio 5. I am feeling the vibe this morning, sister. You've got the fire going, the smoke is going to the beautiful, we do. which is you. <laughs> Coming right to you. I just happen to be standing by you. Darn it. Glad I didn't wash my hair this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this idea is so fun. In fact, Amy, you're always enthusiastic about your recipes, but this one has you extra excited. Oh, I think it's so much fun. It's actually so, so yummy and it's so easy. But I think that this idea could be great for just like family parties, uh, Monday night, family night, or like girls camp and going and doing all the fun things that we do in the summer around a fire. What's a campfire pie? Just a pie you cook on the campfire? Yes, it's exactly. It's a dessert um, pie. I thought that it would be fun to take a basic um, kind of a pastry dough, okay. okay, or a pastry. So we've got croissants. You can do them big or you can do them small. Trader Joe's has these little tiny ones. If you want to buy a box and bake them up fresh that are like a perfect size, they Cute. just go right to the oven. Yes. But you can bake those up. Then you put in delicious fillings, homemade fillings. I've got strawberry and blueberry and apple. And the thing that's interesting about these is, is that they're a fresh fruit filling. So you don't cook the fruit so itself. You make a sauce and you pour it over. I was going to say, how do you make it? So you, you make a sauce? Like a sauce. We're going to make one. But you okay. just make it and then you just uh, stir your fresh fruit into it. So it has a really fresh taste oh. inside of it. OK. And, and then, then um, kind of fun things that you can put into it. I have cheesecake. Cheesecake bites. Yeah, th that was suggested to me. And I thought, yummy. We tried it the other night and everybody loved it. And then I have a marzipan vanilla crumble and then icing, of course, to top it off. OK. So, so you're going to show us how to make the filling yes to begin and it's this is my own thing yes so I made it the traditional way you know you always make it the same way where you put the berries in with the water and all that and you cook it but then I thought why are we doing it that way we should do it this way so well, it seems like you're embracing yeah. all the good of summer the fresh fruit the summer flavor right yeah totally it's because enhancing what's good yeah about and this is kind of fun I, I themed it for 4th of July but really you could do anything you wanted oh yeah any kind red, of white, blue. yeah red white and blue obviously I got but, it I got it <laughs> but you know if you don't want to make the homemade fillings you can make by store-bought too okay. that's fun too okay so this is a method that's different than what they have I haven't actually seen it so but it works so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add our sugar into the blender mm -hmm. and cornstarch because that's our thickener for the sauce. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to add um, a cup of cold water mm -hmm. and our and a cup, a cup of the blueberries. Okay. And then what you're going to do, as I'm losing a few off to the side. You donated them to the crackly uh, fire. I, I have. Yeah, the fire. You're so funny about All the smell. Isn't the smell no. terrible? <laughs> But that's it, you know what it's terrible, but it also gets us a little excited because it does scream summer. Right, right it does, okay. it does. And finally, let's say, well, let's face it, we need fire still. Yes. It's been so cold. It has been chilly. Um, okay, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna blend that up. And, and the cutest blender I've ever seen. Whatever. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And then you're just gonna pour it into your saucepan. Okay. And then you just cook it. And instead of it, like when you do it the traditional way, it takes about eight minutes to cook it. If you do it this way, it's literally like two or three minutes. And we cook it to thicken. You it. cook it to thicken. Okay. You want to make sure you add a little bit of salt. Oh. And um, plenty of lemon juice, like a half of a lemon, because that's really what gives it this most delicious uh, flavor. I was shocked about how much difference the salt made. So, to the flavor? Yeah, to the flavor. So, okay. and then that's it. And then you're just going to cook it up, and then it becomes that. So, you did that with blueberries, you did that with strawberries. strawberries same not, base, different Not fruits. with the apples. Apples have to be cooked longer. Apples have to be yeah, cooked, have a to cook longer. longer. Then, once you've got that, you just pour this, wait five minutes, pour it over your fruit, and then it's ready to go. Okay. So, kind of a fun thing. And you cook that in the campfire? No, on no, the stove. No, on the stove. Sorry, this is on the, the stove. Campfire? Get me okay, the campfire. the campfire. Okay, so I think we should make one. Um, so you just need regular foil. Okay. I thought about trying the, you know, the heavier duty, but I found that it took it longer to cook. So you're wrapping this in like a tin foil effect? Yeah. So it's like okay. a tin foil dessert dinner okay. thing. And then we're just going to take one of our That's what I was missing, the vessel that would get us from table to campfire. <laughs> How are we getting I was to like, that? please don't stop now. Please tell me there's more. Okay. Okay. So just choose the top, whatever you like. Oh, let's yeah. do that yummy blueberry that you okay. just made. Okay, okay, so, so put just in. put that into it. Okay. You can just put a little bit of that. And then what kind of topping would I you mean, like? I mean, the cheesecake sounds 
I kind of thought you tempting. might like the cheesecake. So. Did you just buy che did you it's make cheese? It's just a cheesecake. Did you make cheesecake yeah. and chop it up or did you? No, okay. are you kidding me? That would be going too far. Okay. I'd be crossing the line. Um, <laughs> is there a line? Is does Amy Richardson have a line? Um, with the cheesecake, I think so. Okay, that was funny. on Father's Day, homemade cake, put it in front of Mark, and I said, Happy Father's Day. And he loved it. He was kidding. He's like, you know, cheesecake's my favorite. I'm like, not making a cheesecake. But you have a lovely chocolate peanut butter right in front Enjoy of Enjoy this one. Yeah. yeah. Why do boys like the cheesecake so much? Why is they that? They love it. Every yeah, guy loves cheesecake. So and I'm like, grateful. what about the chocolate cake? What about the chocolate, chocolate peanut cake. butter? We're so glad right. to have Costco on our team. Totally. Every, every Mark's birthday. Okay, wrap okay, it up. So so I found a couple ways to wrap it. So if it's too full, uh -huh. you can wrap it so that it's kind of like where you tuck the ends in. Yeah, why was I dainty about that? Come on, it should be spilling it, well, out. Yeah, because we want to have it packed. And then what we're going to do, once that, so you don't really have any edges that yeah. are going to leak. Yeah. Um, you can just do it over a campfire. Sometimes people like to cook theirs in the in the coals, or now, you can just cook it like this. Tell us about this cute campfire you've got okay. going on. This, whoever invented this, little stove it's called a solo bonfire stove. We want to shake their hands slash give them they're a, a hug. genius okay it's unreal yeah. it's the most genius way oh, oh exciting i was just saying say never they heard crackle. you talking about that okay <laughs> but it's such an amazing um uh fire pit it is uh clean burning it hardly has way less smoke the way it's designed and when you clean it there's nothing in it it's called it's the solo stove. solo stove okay uh -huh. and this is the number two and this one is great because you can comes with a bag you can take it to the park you can take it anywhere Cute. it's lightweight and kind of fun yeah. and it just burns kind of like without a lot of smoke all right i mean controls it yeah yeah contained so we we heat that up cook it up and like it just so. yep like so it takes a few minutes and then warm ooey gooey when you open it up you're just going to top it with a little bit of your the icing campfire pie oh icing yes. we can't forget the icing okay yeah on top. and then i always of course have to dunk it in that oh, so yeah dunk and dip <laughs> right so that's dunk, kind of dip and joy is our motto <laughs> for summer this is an amazing spread so perfectly themed and adapted to the 4th of july you've got recipes that you'll post for us yes and i actually have some bonus recipes of savory ones oh. a really yummy oh. goat cheese with cherry jam and uh, basil and kind of a Monte Cristo one. I can see why so, you're so excited and fun. so many fun applications for this. You mentioned the girls camp or just the backyard neighborhood kind of summer story. Thank you, Amy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We'll link you over to Amy on Great Taste Buzz on Instagram. You can find that connection point from our website, studio5.ksl.com. Happy 4th. There were a lot of tangents mixed into that <laughs> conversation. Little Mermaid, cheesecake, it's just how we roll. Okay. It's how we roll.